costly. What up, what up, y'all? This is your boy Cuzzo back with another Overtime Reactions, baby. It's Sunday. Remember, man, this thing's powered by OvertimeHustling.com where you can get the latest gear, issue the magazine, check out shows like this, and much more, man. So we glad to have you. Remember also the Rider and the Gunner, Stoner Simpson, out now on the website. Welcome, man. It's your boy Cuzzo, man. We in the building. Let's get into it. But before we get into it, it's been a year. It is the one year anniversary of Street Beef Scrapyard. I have to say congratulations to those guys. Steve, everybody there, Gim, everybody, man. Salute to all y'all from Cuzzo. Congratulations on a year of great fights. I wish you guys all the success in the world in the future. I'll probably say all this again at the end, but we're getting it started. And it's been a pleasure for me to call you guys fights, man. So thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoy the reactions. But let's get into it, man. The Canadian versus Real Lion to start us off. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, I'm the Canadian. Um, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm fighting out of Seattle. I want to uh, give a shout out to my little brother Maurice. Okay. I want to give a shout out to the black business owners, to the black fathers, to the black mothers, to the okay. black brothers and sisters down in St. Louis, Missouri, owning doing well and decreasing gun violence you can follow me on instagram typical underscore is i mean uh sweeter man 88 sorry sweeter man 88 i'm an actor i'm a writer okay it's for the belt okay oh. the canadian that was a hell of an intro all right real lion 19 years old here to have some fun representing hilo hawaii he's good that big motherfucker's 19. welcome back to the scrapyard Got a title fight for you right now. Steve! Ladies and gentlemen, the shirt that you see on Steve can be found at OvertimeHustling.com. Sizes and prices may vary. <laughs> Shug, I know you like that plug. I'll say it again. Sizes and prices may vary. Let's go, Steve. Man, that's a big motherfucker for 19, man. Excuse my language. That's a big dude. Gimp! We got to start introducing Gimp. To Gimp! Hmm. Canadians coming out fighting, huh? Ooh. Ooh, real lion starting up. No, 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 no. We can't do that, real lion player. We can't be throwing now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Look at Buddy V in the background. Huh. Ooh, good shot by Real Lion. Hmm. Real Lion's trying to come on strong. Okay. Oof. Huh. Okay. 
Ooh, good shot by the Canadian. He snuck that one in there. Another good shot. Man. That's a that's a real lion round for that first round. Man. Can I get a replay of that knockdown, Steve? Woo! Man. Is this it? Is this the knockdown? Yeah, here it is. Ooh! Good uppercut. Good wine to the uppercut, too. A little bit of a wine to it. Mmm. Let's go. Salute to the replay, Steve. Great first round. Real Lion, I mean, he really could take his foot off the gas a little bit if he wants to, but he's not. Because, I mean, he's in control of the fight. The Canadian has to come forward and make the fight now. You know? Man. Man. Was that a slip? Yeah. Hmm. Real Lions not playing now. There you go. Canadian pop that jab out there to try to keep him at bay. Real Lion smiled at that combination, so I don't think he's worried about the power. He seems very confident right now that the Canadian can't hurt him, so he's coming forward. I, 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 the glove made contact. Are they counting that as a, as a knockdown? Oh, no, they gave him a slip. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we want to let this one keep going. Does he get that? Because that was before the bell. That was another knockdown. Does the real lion get credit for that? So far, I got it 2-0 on the scorecards. What y'all got? Got him. Work in the corner. What y'all think, man? Real Lions on cruise control now, huh?
I don't know if that was a push as much as I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to see that again if that was considered a push. These it looked like a little bit of a, a push, a slip, and a punch at the same time. It looked like a little bit of everything. Yeah, I don't know. They might want to consider. I don't know. Oh! He caught him leaving the kitchen. He caught him leaving the kitchen. I think it's time to wave this one off. Yeah, he timed him. Real Lion timed him on that one. He caught him leaving. Uh. Oh man, we gotta stop it now. We gotta stop it. That's a slip. Yeah. Thank you. We gotta we gotta wave that one off. mouth I had to you know caught it looking at the camera I'm like damn <laughs> but no man uh salute the real lion on the victory you know the Canadian you went out there man you put on a show you went out there and you gave it your all man you have nothing to be ashamed about you know real lion salute to you salute to both men it was a great title fight to start the night and you know it, it was a it, you know, the best man, the better man won. It's, it's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, anything can happen in the fight game. So salute to you both. Hell of a way to get started tonight. Big Suge, take us on that first break, homie. We'll be back. Street Beefs, what's up? Fire Chicken here. I'm the host of the Pacific Northwest branch of Street Beefs called The Scrapyard. We're located in Washington State. We throw monthly fights. Follow us on YouTube under Street Beef Scrapyard. Follow us on Instagram, Street Beef Scrapyard. And follow us on our Street Beef Scrapyard Facebook group. If you're interested in fighting, contact me direct message on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you, everybody, for your support. We back. Overtime reactions with your boy Cuzzo. Turtle versus the Mach Man. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's go. The Mach Man, 510, 137. Shout out back with fingers. Okay. Let's go. Steve. We got a boxing match for you right now. First, shout out to our sponsors, Kishota Premium Coding Brand, and Bonnie Bachelor, our human representative. Check out the link to both of them in the description. All right, we got the boss man. He is Owen Owen Scrapyard. To my left, we got Turtle. He's by the Green Scrapyard. He's safe, fight hard, guys. Okay. Simo, what up? Let's 
Mm. Turtle coming on. What happened? What happened with a uh, match man? Turtle's showing a lot of confidence right now. He's relaxed. Match man still trying to get his bearings a little bit. Hmm. Good body shot. I don't know. Is this something? Is there something going on with the arm? Okay. Yeah. Hey, man, you know, sometimes in fights, injuries happen, you know, so salute to Mach Man for coming out there and gloving up, you know, salute to Turtle. I'm sure that's probably not the way Turtle wanted to get the W, but, you know, some things you can't control. So salute to both of them, Mach Man. I hope it's not a serious injury. I hope you make it back and, you know, so you can compete some more so we can check you out some more, do some more reactions to you, man. So if it's serious, I hope I wish you a speedy recovery, you know, so salute to you. Big Shug, take us on another break, big homie. We'll be back. Yo, this your boy Rampage. Okay. OTH Magazine. Okay. OTH Magazine. Okay. It's official. Y'all see it? Yo, check this out. TJ Super. Yo, yeah. make sure you check out the September, October issue. OTH Magazine. Get your hands on it. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of stuff. We talking about Radio Super. Big. We talking about the Heat 100 DJ Coalition. Big. Everything is popping. You know what I'm saying? Big. Salute to my G Rampage. Yeah. Y'all see what's cracking. Yeah. Chase the issue down. Right now. Go get it. You know what I'm saying? Ha. Boom. We back. Overtime reactions with your boy Cuzzo. You know versus Black Hawk. Let's go. Got him spitting, ain't he? Blackhawk here. Shout out to my wife, Cassie G. Um, this fight is for those who can and want to. All right, let's get it. Okay. Yeah. Y'all know why not too picky. Fire chicken with a boxing match for you. Let's go. Shout out to our sponsors. Shoto Premium Clothing Brand and Monic Thatcher, our Beamer representative. Also, a special shout out to Overtime Hustle Magazine. They're the ones that actually gave me the shirt while we were fighting in Virginia. So, as always, thank you guys. Let's so, go. Owen Owen in the scrapyard. Am I right? We got Yano. He is Owen Owen in the scrapyard. He's safe by heart, guys. Let's go. All right, let's bring it. You guys know what it Man, I want Gimp in the OT8 shirt, too. Gimp, what up, man? Timer, are you ready? Judges, eyes on. Fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Grab heart. Come on, Nick. Hands over. Black Hawk said he got some power. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You know, throwing, ain't he? Woo! Collision of heads a couple of times. Blackhawks relaxed. Woo! It's gonna be a good one, man. That was a great first round, but I must say, Blackhawk, salute to the Wave Cap making it out the first round, man. <laughs> that motherfucker's hanging on, but you made it with that motherfucker, man. <laughs> 
Let's go. Oh, it came off second round. I get it, Blackhawk, man. You want to keep them waves for the club, baby. I get it. Woo! What's his name? Uh, you know, is packing a lot of power behind those punches. Blackhawk is doing the right thing, I think, by popping a jab out there and trying to use the work rate to outwork him. That That is definitely what the game plan should be. Because you know coming with that power, man, those are thudding shots he's throwing. The interesting question is going to be, you know, what are the judges looking at? Are they listening to the thudding shots and they are they judging the aggression of, you know, or are they judging, you know, uh, Blackhawk, you know, dodging the, a lot of those punches and throwing his own punches, sneaking his own shots in there, even though they're not as heavy as, you know, are they going to give him credit for those shots? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. So you got to get credit for those shots. Mm. Huh. Let's see. Okay, for three rounds, these boys left in the yard. We have your winner. Yeah, they went for the third and shots. And there you have it, you know, salute to, you know, for getting the W, salute to Blackhawk for going out there, you know, Blackhawk tried to exercise his game plan of, you know, sticking and moving, you know, trying to stay out the way of those thudding shots of, you know, but those, those heavier shots, man, you could hear those shots. So, you know, it is what it is, man. So salute to both of them, man. They put on a great fight. Big Shug, man, you know what to do. Street Beef Scrapyard, one year anniversary episode. We having fun tonight. We chilling, we relaxing, we having a good time. You already know, man. Big Shug, take us on another break, man. Buddy V, modern day Aztec warrior. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Quick shout out to Overtime Hustling Magazine. I have a few copies myself. They're awesome. And shout out to the reactions because Cuzzo does an insane breakdown of every fight he watches. And he is very fair and awesome too. And if you don't know who they are, check it out. Look at it. Subscribe, like, comment, all of the above. We back. Overtime Reactions with your boy Cuzzo. D.A.D. versus Billy the Beast. Let's get into it, man. You already know. One year anniversary. Let's go. Billy the Beast, 6'1", Let's go, Billy the Beast. Dad, 5'9", 166. Dad, let's go. I said D-A-D, -D, but it had the dots in it, so D-A-D, -D, right? But Dad, fuck it, Dad. Okay. Let's go, Anomaly. Salute to you, Anomaly. Congratulations on the one-year anniversary of being a part of the team, man. I got all that in there before the fight started. Okay. Okay. 
Up. Billy the Beast is throwing everything everywhere. Woo, Billy the Beast. It's, yeah, he's hurt. He's done? What happened? Okay. Might have been a body shot the way he went to the ground. Billy the Beast might have caught him with a good body shot. Huh. Woo. Good shot. Might have caught him on the temple. It looked like it looked right around this area. Kind of it knocked him off balance a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it was all in this region. So let's see. Huh. Salute to dad, though, man. Salute to dad. And there you have it, man. Salute to Billy the Beast. Salute to Dad going in there, you know, giving his all. Stepping in there, gloving up, man. Salute to y'all both, man. Billy the Beast, man, I'm I'm interested in seeing him again, man. He has a lot of a lot of weird angles that he could bring to different fights. So I'm I'm interested in seeing more of that. So salute to y'all, man, from your boy Cuzzo, man. Big Shug, take us on another break, homie. Hi, I'm Byron Zeus Rebel Waters, President and CEO of Sweets by Sweetwaters. Sweetwater donuts are freshly made every day, handmade every day, delivered fresh to your doorstep. If you're looking for the best donuts in the city, contact Sweets by Sweetwaters. We back, Overtime Reactions with your boy Cuzzo. Man, I'm excited about this one. The homie Jay Gottam's back for the anniversary, man. Jay got him versus Dre. Let's go. This is Street Beach Spread Dog. We ain't got a hat hog. Set for us back. Now we flip it like a flash car. Guns down, gloves up, and shut up. That park. Guns down, gloves up, and shut up. This is Jay got him. 198. Let's go. Uh, 6 3. I'm back again for the anniversary. Happy birthday, Scrap Yard. Let's go. First fight, Dre Jones. I'm gonna let y'all pick my fight name. I just go by Dre. I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. You gonna find out what I'm doing. Let's go. Anniversary event. We got a returning fighter. Jay got him. First off, shout out to our sponsors, Peace Shoulder Premium Clothing Brand and Modern Petro. We represent. Also, special shout out to Fight Team 206. Check them out on YouTube. They have been supporting us for a very long time, and we always support those who support us. Let's go. Salute to Fight Team 206. Hey, we, we give love over here, baby. We, we ain't scared to show love to everybody, man. And over time, hustling. Okay, Gumby. 
We ain't seen Gumby in a minute, man. I feel good, man. Let's buy Gumby back for our anniversary episode. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Got him. Figuratively and literally. Looks like Jay Gotham's mouthpiece is coming out a little bit. Huh. Got the mount. Got him's got the mount. Got him's about to do what he do. Yep, got him's about to start doing what he do. Ooh, ooh, that's it. Yeah, he's tapping. He's gonna tap on that. I can tell by the positioning. It ain't gonna be too much longer on that one. Yeah. Salute to Drado, man. Got him had that yank positioned. Woo! Got your winner by submission. Man. Man, there you have it. Salute to Dre Band coming out there. Uh, Salute and Scrap Yard, Street Beef Scrap Yard. Man, Jay got him. Welcome back for the anniversary. It was good seeing you. You know, great, great little match. You know, I can't complain. I got to see Jay got him, man. One of my, one of my favorite fighters on Street Beefs, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy this evening. I'm excited. I'm, being left speechless with a lot of the cameos and stuff I'm seeing Gumby. I'm shocked to see Gumby, man. I was very shocked to see Gumby reffing, man. So salute to Gumby too, man. So big should take us on another break, homie. We back. Overtime reactions with your boy Kezo. Let's get into it. El Giro versus Mr. Fister. Let's get it popping, man. Let's go. Mr. Fister, man. Steve. You could tell Steve's in good spirits of this. You could tell he's got he's got that anniversary swag. You know, you know he got that. You know. And if I'm not mistaken, we've seen El Guido before. So I'm excited to see what's going on here. Yep. Ooh, El Guido. 
El Guido, man, I, I like the footwork. I like what you're doing so far. Jab to the body. Jab up top. Woo! Woo! El Guido! <laughs> Oof. Guido's looking clean, ain't he? That's one of the best first rounds I've seen in a long time from a fighter. A technical first round. Woo! Man. A triple jab? Ooh. Beautiful. doesn't know I don't think he knows where he's at I don't know I don't know Gimp I don't know wow Mr. fucking Fister y'all Man. El Giro's coming back. Great body shot by El Giro. Great body shot. Ooh, that body shot. You saw his body curl up. Ooh, good shot. El Giro's back in it. He's recovered. He's recovered. That was a great shot by Mr. Fister, but El Giro, El Giro's clock back in. He's he, he's back on the clock. He's going to work. Woo! 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 That's that's the best shot I've seen. In Street Beef Scrapyard yet, besides the one Golden Hands threw in his rematch. That is one of the best shots I've seen. Woo! And great way for El Giro to come back and use the body shots 
is a way to set the blueprint to, to stop him. That was, that was beautiful. Beautiful. I applaud that. We have your winner. El Giro. Great fight. Man. That's the shot I'm talking about right there. Man. Yeah, that's besides that golden hand shot, that's the best shot I've seen. Mr. Fister, man, salute to you. That was a great shot. You know, you came in there ready to fight. You gave it your all. El Guido, salute for the win. Salute to being a true champion and getting up from that shot and recomposing yourself. I thought that it was done. Gimp saw something I didn't see because sometimes the ref looking at the fighter face to face looks different than what we see at home. We think a fighter's done. Gimp's there. He's talking to the fighters so he can see stuff that the viewers can't see. Hands down. And boy, was that a great decision by Gimp because El Guido came back and not only did he come back, he came back in full throttle and, and went to work. I, great fight. Great, great fight. Big Shug, man. Take us on another break, homie. Y'all already know who it is. It's your man, Hell on Wheels from Street Beast, the wheelchair wild man, straight out neutral corner boxing. You can find me on YouTube at Team Challenge Accepted, but you can always find me with my boys at Overtime Hustling. Maybe they're always featuring your man, Hell on Wheels, in their reaction show. Make sure you look out because that next wheelchair knockout is coming real quick. We back, overtime reactions, let's go. The Preacher's Son versus Voin. Shouts to the Preacher's Son. I just started following him on Instagram, let's go. Let's get it. One year anniversary, man. Let's go. Preacher son, 208 pounds, uh, fighting for Bad Company in the main. Shout out to my uh, wife and kids, support me all the time. My brother Hunter and Jordan come out coaching me today. And win, lose, draw. Oh, glory to God. Let's get it. Let's go. OTH, baby. Remember, you can get shirts like that at OvertimeHustling.com. Remember also. Yeah, Sizes and prices He's may vary. All right, we got the preacher's son. He's two and zero in the scrapyard. Be safe, fight hard, guys. Yeah. Let's go. Check yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands at all. Gimp. You guys know the rules. Touch gloves. Go to your corners. Go first, Kyle. Judges. Fighter, are you ready? Fighter, are you ready? Scrap hard. Go, Kyle. Go. Oh. Woo! Preacher son's going to work, ain't he? Good shot. Ooh, good knee shot. Mm. Man. Good shot. Ooh. 
preacher's son is throwing. He's throwing everything. Kicks, punches. Oh, good shot. Caught Voin coming in. I gotta salute Voin for taking these shots, man. He's got a hell of a beard on him, man. <clears throat> Good first round. Hmm. Ooh. Good shots. son has a whole nother gear, man. Whole nother gear. Man. Ooh, very smart to go with the kick too with that. With the when he spun him out. Ooh, good shot. Hmm. Ooh, good shot. Man. Damn good fight. <laughs> Trying to hear what the corners are saying. I like how Preacher Son tried to go with the kick right there. Good selection right there. Try to catch him with a kick. Off the spin. Or spin around, I should say. Ooh, good knee. Good knee. 
Voin returning the knee. Ooh, good shot. Damn good shot. Ooh, good shot again. Man, you have to respect Voin's chin. Hell of a chin on Voin, man. Good knee. Great fight. That was a unanimous. I have I have Preacher Sons winning, but it was a very entertaining, very fun, unanimous decision. Yeah. Very fun, very, very uh active, unanimous decision though. Voin Voin has a hell of a chin. Let's go. And there you have it. Salute to Voin, man. You got a hell of a chin on you, Voin, man. Salute to Preacher Son. Getting the W. Great shots he was throwing. Great ring presence. You know, it is what it is, man. Salute to y'all, man. Let me tell you something. That was our main event. We got to wrap this up before I get into the usual spill. You know, I got to say salute to Street Beefs, you know, happy anniversary, one year anniversary, birthday anniversary, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, this year you guys have entertained us. You guys have sat up here and put on great fights. You know, you guys have fighters that go out and they not only do they, uh, show what it means to be a great fighter they also have great sportsmanship they it, it's a family vibe when you sit up here and you watch street beef scrap yards you never really see anybody you know being a sore loser about anything it's good vibes it's good energy the events are good vibes and good energy you know so thank you guys steve you're putting on a hell of a brand man uh, a, a hell of a, a Street Beefs brand in the scrapyard. You know, the scrapyard can only get bigger from here. So thank you. Much love to you. Salute to you, man. Thank you for allowing me to do reactions to your fights, man. I, I, I appreciate it. You know, you saying on Instagram many a times, YouTube, you know, that you appreciate me doing the reactions. But I have to say, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you, you know, because you guys took me when, you know, I'm doing overtime reactions for the brand. And when I started seeing Street Beef's videos and doing Street Beef's, uh, Beef's videos, I latched on to your guys' brand quick. You know, you guys had a real good vibe. You, you've always had, you know, great uh, conversations. You've always gave us great access to the fighters. The fighters have always reached out and had great access. So it's always good vibes with Street Beefs and Street Beef Scrapyard, all the branches, Street Beefs West Coast, all of you guys. Salute to all of you guys. So thank you from myself, Cuzzo, and Overtime Hustling for being able to 
do reactions to your videos, man. It, it, it's much appreciated. We're going to keep them going. I won't stop. It's picking up steam. I'm glad the reactions are picking up steam. More people are catching on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, OvertimeHustling.com for the latest gear. Issue of the magazine. Stoner Simpson. The Rider and the Gunner. OTH Magazine. Salute to Richie Evans. I saw you in the picture on IG with the with the magazine shining in the barber's chair, you dig? Man, let's go. I hope y'all have a blessed week. Get goals accomplished. This is your boy Cuzzo. I'm signing out, man. Great anniversary episode. What can I say, man? I'm happy to do these reactions every week for y'all. Big Shug, you already know. I'll catch y'all on the next go round, man. This is your boy Cuzzo, and I'm signing out for the night, man. Holla. Over, 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 over time hustling.